What it do, Scorpio? What it do? Hey, what's up, Scorpio? And welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful and handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. So, Scorpio, this is going to be a general, so let's go ahead and get into it. If anything resonates, Scorpio, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. So, Scorpio, right now, this could be a time that you need to connect with your ancestors, okay? We got the third eye chakra here. We got this family tree, okay? So, some of you could maybe be doing things like uh, acoustic records, like going back and tracing like your past life history, okay? Seeing where your ancestors come from. Also, tracing down your family tree, you know, seeing... Where, where you come from, you know, who, who are the people that help build you and make you into the person that you are today. You know, this also talks about, like I said, past life, uh, dream work, but it's just a way even possibly calling upon your ancestors and your spirit guides, you know, to help guide you. Journaling could be good for you at this time, Scorpio. You know, a lot of times, a lot of us, we don't like to share our feelings. We don't like to bother people. We don't want to be, you know, crying and stuff all the time. We used to be in the fixer. So, if you're one of those Scorpios that don't like to talk about your problems all the time, journal it down. It don't have to necessarily just be bad days. Journal down your good days as well. You know, have something to reflect on when you're having a bad day. So, you can remind yourself, you know, hey, good and bad days come, but there are you know, going to be good days as well. Then, Scorpio, here we go. We got to flow like the water, baby, okay? Sometimes we can be a little resistant to things, especially when it talks about, you know, taking leaps of faith and stepping into the unknown because we don't like the unknown. We want to know what the if it's going on, you know, so it's like when we, we, we kind of know things are coming, but we're not for sure when, you know, it's kind of make us resistant to those things. The spirit is saying flow like the water. If you have some water nearby, like a pond, a lake, a river, you know, water signs, hey, we connect better with water. Go flow with the water, okay? All right, Scorpio, I hope those were some good self-care messages for you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this reading, Scorpio. Remember, if anything resonates, so go ahead and like this video. All right, so we're going to start off with my yin and yang deck, you guys. And let's see what's going on. So what messages do you have for my Scorpio spirit? What messages do you have for my Scorpios? I love you, Scorpio. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, all right, let's go. What messages do you have for my Scorpios today, spirit? All right, Scorpio, so we have fire energy, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And let me say this right too, right quick, Scorpio. If I call out a sign, if it's not the sign of someone you're dealing with, that doesn't still mean this isn't your story. You know, you if you don't know your person's birth chart, you don't know they could have, you know, those placements somewhere in their birth chart, or they're just in this energy, you guys. It's all energy, okay? So we got fire energy, you guys. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So this talks about someone that you have a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry with, okay? Then we have Virgo here, okay? So you have Virgo in your energy. And then we have, I need to know the truth, okay? So Scorpio, you could be feeling like there is some type of truth that either this fire sign or this Virgo has yet to tell you. Or Scorpio, maybe this fire sign or this Virgo is saying there is some type of truth that they need to know from you. So let's pull some more and see what's going on. What messages do you have for my Scorpios today, spirit? Okay, wasting my time. Okay, so some of you, maybe you chose to maybe leave a situation or kind of put a situation on pause because maybe you felt like there was some type of truth that you needed to know and someone maybe wasn't being honest with you or they weren't forthcoming with this truth, okay? So you felt like you was wasting your time maybe waiting on this person, this fire sign or this Virgo here, you know, to give you some type of truth. Let's pull some more. Let's see what's going on. All right, what we got here, spirit? Then we got, I know I messed up, okay? So there's someone in your energy. Maybe this person knew that they were supposed to be telling you some type of truth, Scorpio, and they didn't, okay? Look at this. The truth is the hardest thing that I've ever had to do, okay? So there's somebody here. Okay, so Scorpio, you were expecting or you knew that someone here wasn't being honest with you, right? Okay, so you could have asked this person about a situation or you asked this person about something. And it was like this person was BSing with you, basically. And it was like you felt like you was wasting your time waiting on this person to tell you some type of truth. So I feel like some of you guys, you possibly walked away from this person. Like you no longer dealing with this situation. So it's like now this person is sitting here and it's like, you know, I feel like they want to come forward and tell you whatever this truth is that you need to know, Scorpio. Video, but it's like they could feel like they messed up or you know maybe you're not interested in seeing the truth here 
And then we have, I may not see you, but I can feel when you're near, okay? So you and this person, maybe you guys haven't seen each other for a long time, but this person's saying that they do feel your energy, okay? And we have Pisces here as well. So let's pull some truths, and then we'll pull a little tarot and see what's going on here, all right? Some messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. What messages do you have for my Scorpio spirit? What is this truth that this person needs to tell my Scorpio? This seems to be our thing, Scorpio, or our thing. Somebody here needs to tell some truth, all right? So we have, I am grateful for this spiritual lesson. Okay, so for some of you guys, it talks about you and someone else could be on some type of spiritual journey. So this can actually be your divine counterpart we're talking about here. But Scorpio, I feel like you are grateful for this spiritual lesson that you have learned possibly dealing with this person. So let's see. What message do you have for my Scorpios? You were the best thing of my life. Okay, so this person, someone here is reflecting, okay? They're, they're realizing that they messed up because you were the best thing. Okay, this person, look. This person know they messed up because they realize that you were the best thing in their life, Scorpio. So let's pull one more message. We're going to pull some tarot and see what's going on. Sometimes I stay away thinking about you, okay? So someone here is having a hard time sleeping. Why? Because they know that they need to tell you some type of truth. Whatever this truth is that they need to tell you, Scorpio, this is like the hardest thing that this person has had to do. So let's pull for my no cap, baby. I know it get real with the no cap here. So let's pull some no cap. I said I was going to tarot, but I like more oil for you guys. I get to use my intuition a whole lot more than I do with the tarot. All right, let's go to this no cap. What is this truth that this person has to tell my Scorpios? Why are they staying awake late at night, Spirit? What is this truth that this person needs to tell my least? Tell my Scorpio. Come on, Scorpio. We got cars everywhere. Hold on. All right, Scorpio. So I picked up the cards that fell on the floor, okay? And this is what I got. So for some of you, the hardest truth that this person is going to have to tell you is that they have a baby on the way, okay? So some of you guys, while you were in separation with this person, they was banging and screwing and they done messed around and banged someone else, okay? And got a baby, okay? Now some of, some of them want to let you know that they never had anyone who genuinely loved them, okay? So your person could have been someone who was used to like fake love. You know, they gave out fake love and they received fake love, okay? But... For someone here that has had a baby here, and then your other person, or this person feels like you guys have unfinished business, okay? So, for some of you, this truth that you need to go, need to know, the hardest thing this person is going to have to tell you is that they have a baby on the way. All right, Scorpio, that's all I have. Please like, share, and subscribe.